Hello and welcome to this week's edition of KPSF. The stakes were high. Last Thursday, KP hosted our annual class competitions in the Wooden Gym. The winning class would be awarded a combined $1,000 towards their prom fund, so you can imagine each class brought the heat. With the stacked lineup of musical chairs, knockout, tug of war, and Mario Kart, our students were ready to make some noise for their class. To kick things off in the morning, we had our junior versus freshman competition. It was blue versus white, and let's say the juniors did not disappoint. The freshman class was in for a rude awakening, as the juniors swept them in all events setting high expectations for the next competition. After the conclusion of the first competition, our seniors took on the class of 2024. In an exciting matchup, the seniors were able to take the top four spots in musical chairs before sophomore Ferris Ismail put the sophomore class on his back, beating the final three seniors in the game of knockout. After a dominant performance in tug of war and hard fought races in Mario Kart, the seniors were able to come out on top, earning the $1,000 grant from Dr. Mobley and the student council. Well done to all the participants and thank you for your spirit. We hope you save some for next week's Winter Spirit Week as Monday is Pajama Day, Tuesday is Dress Up Day as in party attire, not costumes, Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day and Thursday is Flannel Day. The wrestling team took a trip to Tri-County on Saturday to take on Bellingham, Tri-County, and Burrowville and came away victorious 4-0. Great performances came from Captain Will Conniff going 4-0, not allowing his opponents to make it past the first round. The team showed up with great energy, sparked by Coach Adams. Captain Sam DeBadges and Hunter Hastings gave early momentum to KP, getting a first round pins and dominating their match. The boys are on a roll and ready for their next competition this Saturday at Milford. Uh, this Saturday we got a Milford tournament, so we're all working on honing our skills and hopefully coming out there with a win. I think sophomore Kobe Cloutier is really standing out and I think he's going to make a big difference on our team this year. The boys and girls indoor track team traveled to Wheaton College this past Monday to race against Alabama. With impressive performances from Isabel Watson, who won all three of her events, which included long jump, high jump, and hurdles, and Huda James, who placed in all three of her events, the 55 meter, shot put, and high jump. In a hard fought match, the girls snuck out a win with a score of 56 to 43 KP. And now on to the boys. With an early run and dominating performance from Noah Hurd with a mile time of 451, the boys look to feed off that performance for the remainder of the competition. The 4x400 relay team finished the meet by scoring points with a time of 3.53 with a strong anchor from first time runner Colin Mahoney, but their performance was not enough for the win. 
Today the teams travel to Reggie Lewis Center for their second meet of the season. The girls look to continue their dominance and the boys look to bounce back today. The girls basketball team started their season off strong on Tuesday night with a comeback win over Foxborough 50 to 42. The girls were trailing nearly the whole game and after a couple of threes and a couple forced turnovers by Foxborough, the girls found themselves down by 11. Slowly, they closed the gap with a few late game threes by Elizabeth Mola and some clutch layups by Julie Marsden and Liv LaFlon. With this performance, the girls were able to pull out a win. Foxborough has always been a really hard team to beat. They have a lot of talent, and I think we worked really hard as a team to come back from our 11-point deficit to beat them. It was a really good way to welcome the new coach. Tuesday night, we had our first win of the season against Foxborough. It was really great with the new coach. It helped our team feel united. I'm really excited for the rest of the season. The boys' basketball team had their first scrimmage last Friday against Dedham, and the results did not go as planned due to a lot of turnovers and a bad field goal percentage. Coach Stefano has put together a solid game plan for the team's first game, which will be tonight at Taunton. Uh, we're going to get the ball to the plant, get as many shots up as he can, um, and then I mean, we're just game plan this week in practice, and then going to work hard Friday night and hope for the best. Probably scout them a little bit, see what their offense is doing, see what their defense is doing. Just overall getting prepared and all in control of things we can control. The swim team had their first meet Wednesday night and were able to hang tight with a tough Canton team. The boys lost their meet but felt good about their performance. The girls lost by just a single point and while that is tough to handle they say it will just make them stronger in their next competition which takes place tonight against Milford. We were a little nervous in the beginning I think but as soon as we got into the pool and started swimming the energy raised up a million times. We were all very excited and I loved how everyone was cheering everyone on no matter the race. From beginning to the end it was amazing. Well the girls lost by only one point. Um, but we worked our hardest, I think. I think a lot of the girls were really proud of their performances. We have a lot of strengths. We have a lot of club swimmers who have been swimming for years, but I think some of our weaknesses are the amount of uh, kicking that we have to do, because sometimes you forget during the 500 mostly that you know your legs are doing most of the work. And I think that if we work on that, I think we can beat Milford this Friday. For the boys, the meet went phenomenal. Um, we have one of our freshmen, he's really doing well, really stepping up for the team. Um, really, one of our weaknesses is kicking. A lot of the guys aren't really kicking, they're using their, their arms, but we're gonna work on that this week at practice and next week and really sweep up next week. We had a lot of energy. People were excited to get back in the pool. Uh, sure, we were able to have our meet last meets last year, but this year something just felt different. It was just awesome. The energy was there. People were trying their hardest. I know me personally, I improved on a bunch of my times and I know that I just had the energy, which is awesome. Everyone's super pumped during the meets. Everyone's encouraging each other. Um, and our, our strength is really some of our relays. Our A relays are really sweeping up. I'm pretty excited. I think we're gonna do pretty well, especially leading up to Hawks. I think we have a really good shot. Go KP swim, show up to the meet at Milford at that four. The girls hockey team has started off their season strong with a 4-1 win over a solid Milton squad and a 7-3 win against Norwell. The girls look to continue their win streak and maintain their momentum for their game on Monday against Wayland. Over the week-long break between games, the coaches and captains look to perfect their game plan for their heavy schedule they have ahead. Sophomore Kelly Holmes is a player to watch this season as she completes the Warriors' first line with goal scoring and playmaking. So far this season, Kelly has scored six points, four in which are goals. So starting Saturday, we got eighth grade reinforcements, which have really helped us um, with both games and practices because now we have extra skaters, so we're all ready to play, which has gotten us a good start to our first two games. Yeah, and although Milton was tough, we were our first two lines were able to put putts in the back of the net, and we followed that game plan with Norwell, which got us our first two wins. The KP Boys hockey team will open their regular season on Monday at home versus Medway at 8 p.m. They would love to see a big crowd turn out and cheer them on. The team has several scrimmages that help them prepare for their season and they say they are well prepared and ready for their season opener. You know, we came off a strong season last year, but I think this year we can uh, really put it on the hawk. Um, we just need to play our game. we got a lot of young talent and a lot of veterans to go along with that. So if we can just uh, play our game, do what we need to do, we can pull it a W by the way. Uh, we play Medway at home on uh, Monday at 8 o'clock. Uh, should be a tough, tough game, you know. 
Uh, it's, it's our first game of the season, but uh, it's probably that third, so they'll be they'll be kind of in game shape. We haven't started yet, so uh, a lot of practices will be prepared. Um, last year we were, we were uh, really good. Uh, we went nine and one. We Frank for the first time in 21 years. Um, this year um, we have a lot of new sophomores. We have Brad Gooden. He was the best player in the hockey block last year. Uh, he'll do the same thing he did last year. He had 10 point, uh, 10 goals, 10 assists in uh, 10 games last year, and we expect the same out of them this year. Uh, we have some really good seniors, Sean Spadrick, Nolan Filer. We'll be, uh, I think we'll be really good this year. This afternoon, the gymnastics team will travel to Attleboro to take on the Blue Bombineers. Both Attleboro and the Hockamock division will be very tough this season, but there's nothing our team can't handle. The New England Patriots are hot right now. After winning seven straight, they're coming off a bye week to play the Indianapolis Colts, who are sure to be a challenge. I mean, I don't really think they're going to be able to stop Jonathan Taylor. I mean, I don't think anyone can. But I mean, you can do your best to stop them and make other players of their team win the game. And I mean, that's what Belichick's the master of, you know, taking away your best player and making everyone else win, playing out of your game plan. I mean, if they stack the box, I mean, Carson Wentz is going to be forced to make plays. And I think I'll take that every day over Jonathan Taylor. I mean, if they go three and one, um, you know, they lose one game the rest of these four, then they're uh, the clinch number one seed. So, I think they got a good chance to, to make the Super Bowl. This game will be a true test for the Patriots and a good look into how the Patriots may fare in the playoffs. The defense will have to play well, and Mac Jones will need to step up big time if the team hopes to continue their win streak. The Patriots play this Saturday at 8.20 p.m. We hope you enjoy the home stretch to the holiday break. Make sure you get out there and support our Warriors as they bite into their winter seasons. Happy holidays to all. We will see you on the flip side of 2021.